day, McVeigh, and happy Friday. Good morning, boys and girls. Please stand to honor our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Boys and girls, you may be seated. Let's get to our birthday book. Okay, let's see. Happy birthday today to Isabella Chen in our kindergarten. Tomorrow, happy birthday to Pablo Sanchez in our fourth grade. Ivan Levin in our first grade, Abdullah Awad in our fifth grade, and Edgar Herrera in our first grade. And on Sunday, happy birthday to Vincent Grakovich in our fifth grade, Amaris Blanco in our fourth grade, and Grace Dominguez in our second grade. Okay, so here we go. Today's lunch is pizza, boar's head turkey and cheese, Grilled cheese or the bagel lunch. Okay. So, I hope you had a good time yesterday at Guest Reader Day. Hope you enjoyed all the book by Mr. Justin. Uh, today, we're going to get back to our studies of Europe. So, the thing we're going to learn about today is this flag and the country it's from. This is the flag of Sweden. Now, if we were to look at the map of Europe, here it is. Okay, so Sweden is part of an area called, up here, Scandinavia. And the countries are Norway, Sweden, you can't really see it, it's in the, um, the crease there, Finland, and Denmark, four countries. Now this flag has a cross on it, and all of the Scandinavian countries have the same or similar cross on it. That's something that they have in common. Now we saw that the countries in South America um, when we looked at their flags, we learned a lot about their countries by looking at the flags. And so the same thing is for Sweden. So the blue in Sweden is for truth, loyalty, justice, something called perseverance. That's when you really, really, really try hard and keep going. And the yellow is for generosity. Generosity, of course, we know is part of being kind. So this one is already hanging in the hallway. Now, I know there are a lot of countries that the flag is not hanging in the hallway yet. I don't have all the countries yet. So if you have a flag the same size as the one that you see in the hallway, uh, and you would like to give it to us from a country that we don't have, we'd love to have it. Of course, we'll uh, be buying some and uh, still asking for donations so we can get all the flags that we need up there. Okay, and so um, when we think about Europe as a, a big place, which it is, there are parts that we learned about the British Isles. Now we have Scandinavian section. So there are different sections. Then there's the uh, Iberian uh, Peninsula, which we'll be learning about. And we're going to get to as many countries as possible. But on our last show, we were looking at this culture character. Who am I? Who is this? So we see that the person likes music. This person sees himself as American, but from all of these different places. So we said France, Germany, Italy, anybody remember? Scotland, 
Ireland. And we learned about uh, the gypsy flag. If you said, Miss Kelly, you're right. So our band teacher, Miss Kelly. Today, check this one out. Hmm, we have some shamrocks up there. So the, huh, looks like Irish. Looks like we have the Italian flag there. So it says, my background is mostly Italian and Irish. I teach ENL. That means I teach uh, boys and girls that don't have any English about English. I live in Northport and I have a daughter, Skylar. Hmm, who am I? Let's see who that is for tomorrow. Okay, our Get Smart project today is coming to us from Raquel Jeffrey. And she did a wonderful report on the puffin penguin. So this is her puffin project. A puffin nut penguin. Uh, puffin is actually a, uh, a bird that has to run to fly. So she says, hmm, the puffin was endangered. Uh, and the puffin, believe it or not, uh, lives in California, lives here in the U.S. They can dive and even swim underwater up to 200 feet. How about that? Uh, the Audubon Society. The Audubon Society. Does anybody know what the Audubon Society does? Hmm. Audubon Society is a, a group of people dedicated to birds. Hmm. Unlike, here it goes, unlike other birds, they need a running start to take the air. So they have to run before they can take off. Kind of like an airplane. You have to roll fast before you can take off. That's what the uh, <clears throat> uh, puffin has to do. And the uh, largest puffin can live up to 20 years. They can reach a speed, you ready, of about 55 miles per hour. Take a look at these super cool facts and what a tufted puffin looks like. So I hope you take the time to take a look at this and all the extra cool facts that Raquel shared with us. Uh, it's, it'll be hanging in the hallway. And finally, it's our mighty kind moment of the day, which got a drum roll. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so this one uh, is somewhat interesting. It's from somebody, I don't know who gave it to me, but it was in the box. And it says, you ready? Be a unicorn, which is a magical, mythical creature. Find magic and be kind with it. So... Unicorns are um, a magical animal. So they don't really exist, but uh, they're super fun. Uh, and they make us think of magic. And what this really means is that there's magic inside of each one of us. Find it. So the unicorn is magical, so are we. And then be kind with our magic. So when you have magic inside of you and you share it with others, the world becomes more magical. And of course, you feel good about your magic too and then others feel uh, good at the same time. So any chance you get, share your magic because each and every one of you is magical. And that's kind of what we're studying in our APR hallway is some of the magic about each one of us. And why? Because we're mighty minds. Not only that, we're mighty kind, mighty minds. And every day, boys and girls, it's a great day to get smart and be kind to both each other and the earth. Let's have a wonderful day.